Exploring Reasons for Childhood Obesity. Childhood obesity is a major public health issue. In 2013, the World Health Organization estimated that there were 42 million infants and young children who were overweight or obese, and they are estimating that this number is going to increase to 70 million by 2025 if current trends continue. In Canada, obesity rates in children and youth have tripled over the last 30 years. There are many causes for excess weight in children. In addition to environmental factors such as diet and exercise, it has been shown that babies who are born large at birth tend to remain overweight in childhood. Another factor that has been shown to have an impact on children's weight is whether the mother had diabetes during pregnancy. Diabetes is a disease that occurs when your blood glucose, also called blood sugar, is too high. Insulin, a hormone made by the pancreas, helps glucose from food get into your cells to be used for energy. Sometimes your body doesn't make enough or any insulin or doesn't use insulin well. Glucose then stays in your blood and doesn't reach your cells. Diabetes during pregnancy can be either pre-existing, that is, it is present before the woman gets pregnant, or it can be diabetes first recognized during pregnancy, also known as gestational diabetes mellitus or GDM. We decided to conduct a study to examine what is a more important contributor to excess weight in childhood, maternal diabetes during pregnancy, or being born large. We also examined whether breastfeeding during the first three to five months reduces the likelihood of being overweight or obese in early childhood. In Alberta, we have created a unique population-based pregnancy birth cohort that links data on all health encounters, including inpatient and outpatient visits, lab tests, and drug dispenses for all women giving birth in the province with similar data for their children. For this study, we link the Alberta pregnancy birth cohort with the Public Health Immunization Database, which contains information on height and weight of the children at the time of their preschool immunization visit, which occurs between the ages of four to six years. Children born between January 2005 and August 2013 in Calgary Zone, Alberta, were included in the study. The immunization database also had information on whether the baby was being breastfed or not at their 2, 4, 6, 12, and 18-month immunization visit. Children were grouped into six categories based on maternal diabetes status during pregnancy, that is, no diabetes, GDM, or pre-existing diabetes, and according to their weight at birth, that is average or large at birth. World Health Organization criteria were used to categorize the children as overweight or obese at their preschool age. In a large group of over 81,000 children, excess weight in childhood was lowest in children who were of average weight at birth and were born of mothers who did not have diabetes. In contrast, children who were born large of mothers that had gestational diabetes had the highest rates of overweight or obesity in early childhood. The proportion of cases of excess weight in childhood that are caused by a particular factor is known as the attributable risk. This was much higher for being large at birth alone than for maternal GDM or pre-existing diabetes alone. 
Children who had both factors, that is, were born large and of mothers who had diabetes, had the highest rates of overweight or obesity. Women who were diabetic were less likely to breastfeed their babies. In general, we found that children who were breastfed in the first five months of life had lower rates of childhood obesity. However, this was not the case in children who were large at birth of mothers with either GDM or pre-existing diabetes. Our study highlights the need to better understand the factors associated with babies being born large in order to develop strategies to reduce childhood obesity rates. We believe that being born large may be a surrogate marker for two factors. One, maternal weight, either excess weight before pregnancy or excess weight gain during pregnancy, or two, poor control of blood sugar during pregnancy. We hope that these findings will reinforce public health campaigns advising women who are planning to get pregnant that just like smoking, alcohol consumption, and other lifestyle choices, their weight prior to and during pregnancy, as well as control of blood sugar during pregnancy, may impact the future health of their children.